Hi there, and as you can see I finally got to my Trailblaze level 50 and I'm sure you've already read the title of this video because there are so many different mistakes you might make on your way from level 40 to level 50 and they might slow down your general account progression so significantly that you just have to know how to avoid those mistakes. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And of course 99% of those mistakes are because of wrong stamina management. So let's pop up to our farming window and the first thing you might think of when you get Trailblaze level 40 is yep, now I can farm relics. So I have to just waste all my stamina on relic just because I have a chance to get a really good 5 star relic and that's actually wrong. First of all, when you get to level 40 and you level up your equilibrium level to level 3, you have to level up your characters to level 60. So you have to choose 3 main characters which you always use. For example, it might be a hunt or destruction character, also abundance or preservation character and also harmony or nihility character and you have to farm exactly the amount of resources you need to ascend those characters and then level up them to level 60. There has to be exactly three characters you always use no matter what are the circumstances. You don't have to level up all the characters you have in the account. This is also a mistake. You simply can't do this due to the limitation to your stamina and right after that when you have three characters leveled up, no, you still don't have to farm relics you have to farm these materials i mean blue ones to get your traces done traces are much more important than relics on your trailblaze level 40 41 42 just because relics are still random you can just go for a few rounds on some random set for example musketeer set and immediately get all the good pieces it's just practically impossible you might waste days to get at least one good piece of relic so first of all start from a thing which will give you guaranteed additional bonuses to your characters your units will become stronger they will be able to farm faster also so this is really important just just level up and trace up three of your characters. After that you have to select three another characters which you plan to level up and plan to trace up. You don't have to do this immediately. At this point when you have three characters leveled up and traced up you may start farming your relics but be prepared for next maybe five days you might not get any good relic piece at all all it's how the game works so in general maybe start from spending 100% of your stamina on relics right after leveling up your three characters to level 60 after that maybe in three days divided by 50 50 you invest 50% of your stamina into relic farming and another 50% of your stamina into for example farming materials to increase your traces for other three characters you selected. Also I recommend you starting your relic farming not from the stage where you have a perfect set for one specific character but from the stages where you have two good sets of relics. For example you have a really strong fire character let it be Himeko and you really want this set because it will increase our fire damage but at the same time you don't have wealth at all this means this set will be completely useless for you but at the same time we have better options for example we have this stage where we have musketeer set and healing set healing set you in general want on any abundance character we have in the game and this set even though it's not the best for any specific dps character for the most damage but you will be able to use this set on any dps character and then when you get to the point where you have to use two teams you can just put this set on your second team dps character or just switch this set for your harmony character or your sub dps character or your secondary dps character so in general this stage is really good also we have this stage where we have a defensive set which is really good on almost every defensive character preservation character so just getting this set will never be bad and also we have this lighting set which is you can also make uses almost in every scenario because we have serval and also we are about to get genuine which lots of people will summon for so you will anyway get some uses of this set so in general just start from the stages where you have two good sets of relics anyway 99% of that gear you farm you will just use to increase the level or salvage and then increase the level of your main gear so in general, it's much better to have more chances to get better relic set. And if you're talking about relic farming, I still recommend you saving up all the fuel you get in the game. This was my main mistake, I still regret that so much, I still think it wasn't worth it. I really thought that since now I am Trailblaze level 40, I have to just use all of my fuel to get really good relics. 
I was completely mistaken. This is wrong. Save all of your fuel up to Trailblaze level 50. If you are free to play, never even think about using Stellages to recharge your stamina. But if you're a whale or just spender and you don't really care about your Stellages, but you really care about being first and everything, then using your Stellages to recharge your stamina is much better than using your fuel. Because if you're talking about Stellages, they are limited daily. You can't go over the limit. You can't save up your stella jade's stamina recharges for future so that's why you can use them now and then use them in the future but fuel you have to save up as much as possible because at some point of the game when you get to trailblaze level 50 or 60 you can invest them into relic farming and it will be much better than on trailblaze level 40 I'm saying that because I did this. This was my personal mistake. So never use your fuel up to Trailblaze level 50. I think at this point now I will save up all of my fuel up to Trailblaze level 60. Again, there is one disadvantage because if you fall off in terms of Trailblaze levels, you might get a bit worse rewards in your daily commissions. But in general, it's not worth it. I still think that saving up fuel is really good. Anyway, honestly, in the game there is nothing to do after Trailblaze level 44 except grinding and of course end game activities like Simulated Universe and Forgotten Hall. But if we are really honest, there is not that much which you can get from Forgotten Hall if you finish that now, because if you are talking about Memory of Chaos, then for this reset it's more about self-challenge than about real rewards and efficiency, because even if you can finish all the stages, most likely half of stages you will have one star, half of stages you will have zero stars. So in general, if you are talking only about efficiency, not about the interest in the game, especially if you are free to play, there is just no point point in rushing your trailblaze level, it will just give you nothing. But if you save up your fuel and then on trailblaze level 50 or 60, you use it to farm your relics, you will just get more. You will catch up and get more better stats on your relic sets. So in general, it's really important. I really recommend you doing that. Because other than Simulated Universe, Forgotten Hell and Grinding, there is nothing in terms of activities to do after Trailblaze level 45 maybe or 44, depending on what's your pace in terms of story. And story is not finished yet, so it's not like on Trailblaze level 23, when you really want to know what will be the next part of the story. It's not finished yet, so there is literally no point in rushing. It's much better to save up more resources for future. Also about Echo of war i recommend you doing them last day of reset because you possibly can increase your equilibrium level right before the reset and then just get more and better rewards from it about calyx golden feel free to farm those at the start of your trailblaze level 40 when you only increase your equilibrium level to level 3 and you have to level up three characters i include light cones like a part of the characters you level up and then i think it's much better to switch to relics anyway when you have three characters developed but time to time when you for example have to level up your fourth fifth sixth character to level 60 and increase their light cone level to level 60 then you can return to those over the relics and after maybe hitting trailblaze level 48 49 you can start pre-farming so you can just have all the resources from this tab and also of course this one to just level up your characters immediately to level 70 when you get trailblaze level 50. It's not necessary, it's not required, but you can do this just to make sure you have all the characters leveled up immediately. This is kind of good because anyway, again, relics are too random. I can't argue that some people might get perfect relics in two days of farming, but I think it's not that efficient. It's much better to do this on Trailblaze level 50 and 60. And that's actually it. Again, just be patient. There is nowhere to rush because anyway you will get to your desired Trailblaze level. It's not a problem. And in general, it's much better to just take the game a bit slower now I understand that there was just literally no sense in wasting all of those fuels for nothing. And in general, I might say that if you just stop caring about increasing your trailblaze level so fast, it will just come by itself to you. So just sit back, relax and enjoy the game, honestly, because the game is really interesting. The story is really good, even though it's a bit short. Again, if you rush the things, then you feel that game has nothing in it and you're just looking forward for the continuation of the story. But if you just 
play the game as it was intended to, there will be no such a problem. So, in general, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, I will really appreciate it. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. And for now, that's it. Thanks for your kind attention and see you soon.